Welcome to CADWIND version 10. This short video will give an overview of what CADWIND does and how to use it. This flowchart shows the basic steps in using CADWIND. Creating the mandrel model, defining the winding parameters, simulating the machine movements, and making the part program to be sent to the winding machine for manufacture. CADWIND can also create data for structural or thermal calculations by finite element analysis often called FEA. Lastly, the machine movements can be graphed in CADWIND to check that they will be smooth, fast, and trouble-free. The first step in using CADWIND is to create a mandrel model. The fibers will be wound over this mandrel. The vast majority of geometries typically used can be created quickly and easily with CADWIND's integrated mandrel model generator, just by entering the dimensions, like diameter, and length. In addition, mandrel models can also be imported from CAD systems or other external sources. The next step is to simulate the winding over the mandrel with the iWind feature. iWind can simulate the winding of the filaments onto the mandrel and calculate a list of possible winding patterns based on parameters such as the fiber orientation or winding angle. Both geodesic and non-geodesic winding patterns can be calculated. Friction modeling, that is the consideration of the friction between the fiber and mandrel, allows us to move away from the geodesic path without slipping and thus gives a much wider range of design and production possibilities. The third step is to simulate the machine movements needed to make the part and to write the part program which is a set of instructions telling the machine how it must move. All you have to do is first enter some characteristic parameters of the machine or robot, like configuration, dimensions, maximum velocities and accelerations. And then enter some post-processing parameters, like the desired type of machine motion, and the minimum distance you want the machine to maintain away from the mandrel. Together with the machine movement, the part program for the winding machine or the winding robot is also calculated. The part program can then be transferred to the machine's CNC or computer numerical controller, and the part can then be manufactured. The format of the control program can be easily adapted to any machine controller with the help of a simple template file. It will often be some sort of G-code, although all different formats are possible just by altering the template file. CAD1 can graph various aspects of the machine movements if the user wishes to. Just load the part program in the display feature. For example, the positions, speeds, and accelerations of individual or multiple machine axes like the carriage, mandrel rotation, cross carriage, or radial axes can be displayed. This allows the user to check that the machine movements are smooth and correct, so the need for test runs on the machine are reduced to a minimum. With the design pack extension, the entire laminate, which is formed by the individual layers, including varying fiber angles and layer thicknesses, along with the component geometry, can be exported to FEA software. You just need to open the Create FEA Data feature, select the mandrel file, which will be the basis for the geometry and mesh in the FE file, and then make a list of laminate data files, one for each layer. Then choose your data type from the list, give the output file a name, and click OK.
This allows the calculation of the properties of the laminate and the entire component. For example, the strength of the part can be predicted. If the properties should not meet the requirements, the winding parameters and or the mandrel model can be optimized directly in CADWIND.